How long after a last FDA approval to an original NDA or BLA submission has it taken, on average, for the 11 non-big pharma publicly held oncology-focused biopharma to announce they were acquired? Here is a list of all 66 PTOFA dates from 53 non-big pharma submissions since January 1, 2017. Of these 66, 48 were approved, 17 were issued CRLs and one was withdrawn. There were 8 extensions and our list does not include supplemental filings. We use the FDA calendar website to tracking but of course it is possible we missed one or two. The 48 approvals were to 42 smaller cap biopharmas. Of these 42, 12 were acquired outright but we're going to exclude Epizyme for reasons we'll share in our longer version of this video. For these 11 outright acquisitions, tickers shown here. In column B we show date of the entity's last FDA approval and in column C we show the date the MNA transaction was announced. Then in row D we show the number of months between FDA approval and the date the acquisition was announced. Three were acquired very quickly post approval and recall Ariad was acquired nine weeks before PTOFA. A takeaway, among others, is that seven of the 11 acquisitions were announced between 10 and 20 months after FDA approval. Just remember there were many never acquired. Our next video will include a list of oncology-focused therapies approved 10 to 20 months ago so follow us. This is not investment advice. Thank you.